normalization, improving integrity and reducing data redundancy. So normalization is the process of removing data redundancy from a database and improving the database's data integrity. An example of this may involve converting a flat file database into a relational database comprised of multiple entities which references data records within different entities as opposed to having to manually enter the same data multiple times. Okay, and that's essentially what redundancy means. The same data is being entered into the system multiple times. And what we want to do is instead of manually entering that, we can just enter it in one location of a relational database and then reference that section of the database, reference the entity, okay, and then pull that data over. Okay, so no manual entering, just doing it through relationships. So the existence of data redundancy within the database system leads to potential data integrity issues. For example, when data is inserted to a database record, it must be consistent or duplicated correctly in all places where the redundancy exists in other records referencing the same data. So if I've copied the address of a certain user into one area of my database, if I've referenced that user again, because it's a duplicated record in another record, I've got to make sure their address is exactly the same in that record. Okay, then the issue comes later on when that data is modified. Let's say that person moves addresses where they're living. If the record is updated with new information, hence the new exists, all other records that contain that same data need to be manually updated about that user. So everywhere else I've referenced that user, I need to go then into all those records and manually update where their address is, okay? And that leads to an area of consistency too, because if I forget one or if I mistype in one, there's going to be an issue because the data doesn't match and then that affects my data integrity, okay? Because I've got to do this repetitive thing. It's likely I would make a mistake doing such a repetitive operation, okay? So it can lead to errors in consistency and the correctness of data for that reason. So the purposes of normalization, okay, we normalize data for the following reason, and I've already mentioned them. The first one is to reduce data redundancy. When data contained within database can be found in two or more different locations, then that data is said to contain redundancy, as the same data is existing in multiple points of that relational database. Okay, normalization or flat file database, just to clarify. Normalization aims to remove data redundancy through using relationships between different entities to reference data which is only stored and updated in one location but still can be accessed in other areas of the database through database relationships of the relational model okay so through doing this our hopes are to improve data integrity the principle that data contained within the database is correct consistent reliable and up to date if it's only entered in one place we can make sure that when we enter it, it's correct and then hopefully that's going to be okay and if i do need to update that database record i update it in that one location and then anything that's linked to that record will be updated automatically because that source of that record has been updated so now let's take a look at a flat file database which essentially contains um, redundant data. Okay, so this is a very poorly designed flat file database. As you can see on this database, I've got information about games, and it is a game store, as you can see in the title there. Okay, it's got game, it's got its price, it's got the company where I got it from, it's got purchasing information, it's got uh, things about the customer. Okay, when I do an actual purchase with this actual database, I'd have to enter all this data in. Okay, and that is a time consuming process, which really relies on me entering data from a lot of sources. And look, it might not all these be necessary, but this is just an example specifically to be a poor example of a data dictionary. Okay, and by just looking at it, I hope it looks confusing to you that you can see, you know what, there's a bit of a problem with the fields in this database. So what we'd want to do is we'd want to normalize this database. So that instead of me having to manually enter this all the time, every time a purchase takes place, we can say just reference data stored in multiple entities, okay, where those records and that information exists already. So this is how I would normalize this redundant database. What I would need to do is turn this single table into a relational database comprised of multiple entities. You should understand that now. A relational database is comprised of multiple entities, tables, that contain their own attributes, fields, each entity has its own fields, its own attributes, which are connected through relationships, one-to-one, many-to-one, and many-to-many. -many. So in order to normalize this database, I'm firstly going to start off with the entities that I've pulled from the flat file database. So I picked member, purchase, game, and I've turned company into supplier. So let's see what attributes I have for each of these entities. Firstly is member, and I have a specific ID for each member so that they can create accounts and then obviously link any purchases to their account. And this will be reference their name, their phone number, and their address. Next, I have details about each game. Each game will have an ID, it will have a price, and then how many quantity we have on stock. 
For purchase, we'll have the purchase ID, which will record when the purchase takes place. It links the member to the purchase. It says what store the purchase took place at, what payment was made, and the date of the payment gets timestamped as well. And then finally is supplier. Okay, an ID for each supplier that delivers games to the game store, their actual name, uh, specific orders that have been made from the supplier and the cost that was paid for those orders, and then contact details for the supplier as well, when we do need to order more uh, games from those suppliers. So let's work on now the relationships that will be built between these entities. Okay, and we need to do is then define the primary and foreign keys in order to establish those relationships. So firstly, for member, we have the member ID linking to the purchase. So one member can make many purchases, but each purchase only relates to one member. So it is a one-to-many relationship. Now, the next relationship is going to be a many-to-many -many relationship between game and purchase. So what we need is a junction. Okay, and you see I've called my uh, junction game purchase, and it's comprised of two foreign keys. So it's going to be a many-to-many -many relationship so that one game can reference many purchases because each purchase can contain many games, and that every individual purchase can link to multiple games. So both of them being one-to-many relationships in that junction makes it a many-to-many -many relationship. The same deal is with suppliers because many games can be purchased from an individual supplier and multiple suppliers can give us many games. We don't get them all from the same supplier. So that is also going to be a many-to-many -many relationship. So here is my second junction, both with game ID and supplier ID. Once again, both foreign keys. Okay, and here is that logic. One supplier can reference multiple games and one game can be referenced or every game could be come from one of many suppliers. So I hope this gives you an understanding of how we've normalized this database. Essentially that we've looked at the database and we saw that we'd be entering a lot of data and over time through multiple records, I'd be entering a lot of the same data related to companies, members, games, and actual purchase um, details. Though if I create a database this way and I can set up lots of mini entities that contain details about current suppliers, about members, about games, I can then reference that data instead of me having to manually enter it each time. And that's really that great advantage of normalization because it does reduce data redundancy. I'm not entering data more than once. I'm putting it in its appropriate entity and then that's getting mapped to the correct database. Okay, and I'm increasing database integrity because I'm doing that because it's only going in once. If I'm going to access it, the data is always in the same spot, meaning if I need to update in that information, I just need to update in the appropriate entity. And then through its established relationships with other entities, that those details that update will get updated and correspond in those other entities. So I hope you see the advantages of normalizing a database.